I'm Mr. Grindler, and here are my creatures. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinland's Creatures but on today's episode it is going to be a fantastic one and that is because we are doing a Balfouri communal rehouse. So for those of you that saw my previous video quite, quite some videos back you would have seen me construct this tank right here and thank you for all the feedback on the video, all the comments, um, there was a lot of questions as well and I hope I answered them as best as I could. But today we are finally going to do the rehouse. So I made a little rookie mistake and I'm going to try to be really quick here. I accidentally ruined the sort of intro and deleted part of it, which is why I'm talking right now. And I want to quickly speed this up because there is tons and tons of footage to show you. So when I stop finishing, guys, we are going to be going back to when me and Craig, um, the, the earliest point of my actual video, where we're actually talking about some of the communal. So we were talking about this one where I've done this on my own. And then we was talking about a couple that I've done with Craig as well and it, the, the video just flows from there. So the video is quite a long one and I just want to explain that now quickly before we get into it. So it was a five hours of footage straight away and I think it's hitting between about 40 to 50 minutes um, done at the minute and I'm pretty sure it, it, it's done. But the reason why I'm not going any lower than that is in my eyes, I think if I'm doing a Balfouri communal uh, rehouse, I'm not doing it in a 10 minute video, I'm not doing it in a 15 minute video because there's going to be some of you that want to actually experience the whole thing and I've sped bits up but I've tried to leave the, the whole of us getting it out and the whole of us getting it in. Some people are going to want to watch us getting them out and and, and getting them in and I've, I've put little time stamps in the description for you guys, I think that's what you call it, uh, for those of you that want to skip to them certain points. But this is sort of um, educational at the same time for some people because they're, they're going to be wanting to know what they're doing with a rehouse. So, in my eyes, it makes perfect sense to leave all of this in. I've tried to cut it down as much as I can, and I, I think it's it's a really good one, guys. Honestly, some of the footage at the end was absolutely fantastic. Some of the footage when we was getting them out, oh, it, it's just mad. So we've got some that you know ran. We got this. I'm not even going to spoil it for you guys. But anyway, let's get back to when me and Craig started this rehouse. So I can show you guys. I really do hope you enjoy it. Have a nice day guys, a nice evening, whatever it is. Have a good one, peace. Right, so the communal 20 that I was talking about that I've done on my own was this one just here. Uh, obviously we've got the communal of 10 just here as well uh, that me and Craig done together where we combined both fives, of them. Yeah. yeah, the two fives that one was. And then this was the one that me and Craig was meant to... Oh, the light's really bad. Right, so this is one that me and Craig done together and I ended up deleting, uh, so obviously we, we didn't get the footage, so we are going to do it together. But this one, they have webbed up awesome at the minute. Craig was pointing that out earlier, like an overtop view. Like a Balfouri apartment block. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Craig used to describe it. So there is a Buddha in there, you can gently see it there. Let me zoom in. You see the Buddha's face right in the middle. And they have just web the whole of it up even round here there's just loads i can see at least eight nine just right there look at them as you can see the idea of it and my future plan with this tank i'm not going to say what it is right now but i've, I've been talking to craig and amy about it and like it. It. it looks like it's gonna it's gonna be be good so let's have a look at this tank here okay so we've got We've got the new tank here, and the plan with this was all the branches going all the way down. And if we have a look at it from the top, absolutely stunning, guys. Look at that all the way down. Always got to have a Buddha in there. We've got three at the front just there, with a long stretch of grapevine. We've got the water dish just in front here. Hopefully no valves drowning at this time. Open. It might have been murder. It might have been murdered by another valve. <laughs> nah, there's was, there's was no wounds on it, man. Unless the valve pushed him in, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe you pushed him. You can see it again from this side. It's 
It's absolutely stunning. So I've, I've tried going for a smaller burrow with more webbing points. I'm hoping that they just literally, I don't know, my idea is that they just go down. I don't know if that's going to work. Well, it'll be interesting to see because they might just try the same thing. We'll try and hide behind the Buddha again off in the top right hand corner. But this one, I'll, I was pretty disappointed with this. Should have just half the tank. <laughs> if or I had double, a tank with just or like that. Or double the Balfouris. Yeah, or double the Balfouris. <laughs> goes to show that uh, a I, communal I, that size I is... I can't believe that they all just went to that one yeah. corner. It's, it's, it's mad, considering how many Balfouris it looked like we put in there. That's where the water dish was that I had to take out. <laughs> no, Rest no, no, in peace, Balf. The death pit. <laughs> yeah, it's called the death pit now. Obviously, once we open up this lid here, it is going to open hell to all of this here. And I just looked over, and one of them decided to say a little hello right at the top of the lid like just what a silly place to make their home like or literally the, or the best place if you think about it because if they want to make an exit it's when you open it like go <laughs> i know but literally man like normal balfouri tank you know you can take the lid off and there'll be somewhere that then will be somewhere but you know oh we got to take this lid off and boom the, the whole world implodes yeah the, the whole <laughs> the, the whole camp is right there ready ready and roaring to go straight out of it so we thought if we put this on top of here slide this out then we'll be able to get that so we have a bit more movement when we're going like that so we can try and get one out uh maybe cup it around here somewhere maybe we've also got a camera just up here as well guys which is recording all of us so i'm hoping to get like a little maybe time lapse of that shooting down at us maybe and then craig is going to be time lapsing the actual enclosure build which we haven't actually, oh, sorry, up here we have decided he's gonna have his phone here shining down so we can get a time lapse of that as well. And then this camera here will just be used to record the odd little bits. But for now, it's gonna be on that tripod, just looking down while we do this. Craig's already setting up right here. Craig, you excited? I'm very excited. Like, it's, it's a shame <laughs> no one gets to see the, uh, the original, but like, this is gonna be pretty, pretty sick. I'm very excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. Just look at that guys, that looks sick, absolutely awesome. Alright so yeah you ready from us soon guys, we wish us luck. Right, so I've set the camera up, we are now going to take this off so if I am, um, I'm just going to slide it. If I hold the top so it doesn't move anywhere. Ready? There's about four of like being pulled out. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Like I said plenty of times guys, this is why it's great to have someone with you when you're doing communals because not only is it extra support, but you can record it at the same time. Of course, the scatter. I've got one right up here now, a little one. One right there coming up. Do you know what? Are we trying to cup them? So I'm gonna put that there. Then I'm gonna. Oh god damn it! There's one right there. I'm gonna touch his ass. Yeah, you wanna go for it with the paintbrush? That's not his ass. That's the wrong way. Ah, oh. he's gone. <laughs> he snooze, you lose. We got one here. Oh. Ooh.
brush around the other side. Oh no, it's coming out that way. That's it. Pop lock here. Got one more. Just plop it down, boy. This is going to cause bow explosion, you know that, right? Try and stick something in the water. Proper doesn't want it, does it? All this fortress here, here now, so you can actually see. Do you know what? I feel like we should try and pick at least one off the top and. You can see like the little dangly web here. The molt, yeah. The molt. Yeah, go on, you're going with a paintbrush. I'm going to watch this corner because there's a chance that you're going to run across and try and get out that way. What the <laughs> fuck is that doing? Do you see that? Yeah, like mad drumming, like. Freaking out, though. It's calling. It's calling. This is what they all just come <laughs> out. We're like, <laughs> this is how it happens, Craig. World War Z. Death by Balhori. Evacuate. Look at all them Balfouris right there. I get a hint of Balfouris from this side. I don't get that many Balfouris. Oh. There is a mountain of them. Absolutely beautiful. Look at them. It's a nest of Balfs that I'm about to kick. Um, <laughs> what about this? If we put that like that, and then use that. The world's creepiest game of operation. They're going down. They're going down. This one's going up. Look at that. There's loads of them. We're taking a massive risk here. There is absolutely loads of them. Just You're kind of in trouble up getting in that over corner. the lips, like but it's not going to save us for long. Would you look at that? Absolutely beautiful. There is tons of them. Sorry, Craig. It's right. No, it's Craig's like thing. Craig's easy eager to go in there, and I was just like, I need to get. A little how, bit of video evidence thing, like, of this. It's really hard to work out how the hell I'm going to go in there. Because like, there's just so much. You can't see half of it. They're all so hidden. I so me and Craig's just been tackling the webs at the minute. but I just revealed another one or two or three. 
You can just see him. Craig, I'm look. Yeah. Smile. Right there. Smile. <laughs> Mental. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. Up. Oh, this is so much stressful, but you know, like the good kind of stress. Wait, guys, can I just show you before we go any further? <laughs> so, behind, oh, <laughs> behind the scenes, we've got Balfour Reese. Balfour Reese. And we're gonna finish recording the Balfour Reese.
Um, but while Craig's just checking, to see if there's no more around there. It looks just, like this section. Just going to turn this light off, Craig, for two seconds. That's right. So we've got plenty and plenty of Alphoris. Uh, we did have a little break, which is why the camera stopped and then we weren't talking for some odd reason. I'm going to have to put something in. But look at these, they are absolutely stunning. There's so many of them. Look, they're already webbing. Already webbing, look at that. So the plan was to just get them all into the catch cups and then put them in there. We're not hopeful for the full amount of 38 at the minute. Um, it's, not, it's not looking that good, but we will see. There is no more remaining out in the out in the wild open at the minute, so we're gonna have to have a look in bat cave. The thing is, I don't want bat cave to be destroyed. I want it to be in one piece. So we're probably gonna go in with some tweezers while we're looking through the holes on the front. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you can have a look inside maybe, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But whoo, all these baths so far. Baths four days. Let's have a look. Right, so you can't see much in the tunnel at the minute, but we've got both sides open, which we'll be able to see on Craig's camera at the minute. So I don't know if you can see what my light is showing you right now, but it's actually picking up very well, so I'm quite happy about that. But, oh, it's a bit hard to I see him. work a light with this. Right, so we're gonna try and get these bad boys in. Without breaking it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pause this camera, guys. We're gonna have an overhead view for, uh, for this bit because we're just gonna try and get these in now. So me and Craig's just gonna nut it out. Sorry about the light. We've got the Ooh. camera up there, which I'm blinding right now. Oh, I'm blinding, blinding. We've got this.
So, we just got this valve, this one right here. Let me turn the uh, brightness up quick. Yeah, we just got that valve, and I went round here, and I was like, oh, I'm going to stick it here. Oh. It's just a Balfour out. Oh, it's a runaway Balfour you've got out That's of this right cup out here. Cup, so we're going to try and get this back in there. Um, so, if, uh, oh. I won't, I won't leave this for recording. Or are you good? Do you want me to record it? I won't actually be good. I'll put him oh. down there, so that's that one sorted. You might as well watch Craig do this then. It's like, one of those, it's like a magic trick. I've got to get that Balfouri out of all of these other Balfouris without knocking over any other Balfouri cups. How many, how many times can you say Balfouri? Um, Just got to nudge it a bit from behind, I'd say. Where is all that sand coming from? It was perfect then, I should have taken my opportunity and I didn't because I'm going to melt. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. That's what I mean. Got it. You got it, right, he's got it. In Bath City tonight. Little mastermind. Right. So I'm going to take that out. So I believe this is all the Balfouris at the minute guys. Um, we're just going to do a head count, then we're going to check the tank and then we're going to probably have a little little break. We're going to come back um, and we're going to start chucking them into the tank. So uh, bear with us guys. Right, so I've just found one more so we're going to try and get this one out quick. So bear with us guys. Okay, so all together we've got 37 Balfouris just here. So one of them just moved the pot. That's pretty mad. It was this one just here. So yeah, 38, no, 37 Balfouris all together. So we know that one of them uh, was molting when we first rehoused them. So that one is safe. We had another one that died in the water dish, um, which I still, I don't know if I explained that story. Did I explain it? Did. I think I did. Um, and then, so we've got one that, yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know if it's got eaten. We don't know if it's just died bad and like had a bad molt. Um, we have had one. Well, I've had one that's actually escaped. And well, actually, I'll tell you the story uh, after in the outro. And we can talk about that one. But I think that might have been that one. So they're, they're all accounted for, in my opinion, apart from one, which we may... May have an answer to. Yeah, we may have an answer to. So we are going to now rehouse these into this tank just here. I'm probably going to swing it round because the angle here oh yeah we've got loads here as well <laughs> for days just so many bouts so many bouts and they're all such different sizes as well like that one's like half out because there's a little whoa he's done it again so this one's tiny and then you've got like one down here that's absolutely huge Okay, so I'm gonna leave this camera here. We got one facing down the tank as well. So I'm now gonna put the first Balfouri in the enclosure to start it off. Probably gonna go pick this one. This one, it's your lucky day, mate. First to move in. Prefer it if you just went up the cup, but if you wanna. First bow four in. It's reached right at the front and just. So, I don't know if you want to take that one. I'm just going to start friend. taking some cups each.
So we have the last bath guys, the last bath which is going in, it's on Craig's hands. Well, not quite that. Well it was, but... It was touching, it was having a bit of a, a, bit of a touchy touch. There we go. This is bloody awesome. There's baths everywhere. So let's have a look, little look at the tank guys. Which we didn't clean. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't clean it, which was a, a bad mistake, but... Look at all the web on the top, though, where yeah. they've been, like... Look at that! Where they were sitting. Look how much web they've made in such a short space of time. That's a lot. That's... <sighs> but, yeah, um, so they've all started webbing around the Buddha already. There is tons of them already here. I don't know why they all love Buddhas. Um, as you can see, one just on top there. you got one here. Your one just through there. there are a few Let's have a little look around. Okay, so looking at all these baths just there, absolutely perfect, absolutely stunning. 
Cheers. All right, so we got that. Oh my god, I'm... these these valves, dude. I'm gonna pick this up and use it. Absolutely stunning. So give it some time, and hopefully, these are all gonna be webbing up. We've even got one in the burrow already. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Right guys, so we've got them all in. I've showed you some footage of it and it is absolutely beautiful in my eyes. And yeah, I'm sure me and Craig are gonna be looking at this for a very, very long time. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. I can't wait to see it all worked up and stuff. It is just absolutely sick. So we're gonna set up for the outro, guys. It's gonna be two seconds. Right guys, so that is it for the uh, the Balfour Communal Rehouse. So there is 37 left from a number of 40. 40 yeah. Technically one's still here, but out of the pot, but we won't count that because it's still not in the communal. And this looks absolutely fascinating. Um, it is stunning. It, it looks a lot better than that tank, doesn't it? Even from it, it started off. Because there's like- This, this rehouse puts that one to shame, dude. Yeah, like we smashed it. We really did. But yeah, guys, communal, about 40 communal, 40, 
37. You know how I love my Balfouris, I absolutely love them to bits and uh, I've got a lot of projects coming up. This was one that I was looking forward to for quite some time. Um, but next we're going to go on to breeding because um, uh, like I've said we've got a, f a couple females already. Um, we got two males as well, and the the molts have just been recently fresh the past like month yeah, or two. Yeah, they all molted out to maturity yeah. pretty much at the same time. Um, well, all the females anyway. So mm, yeah, <laughs> I got I got one adult female about four a year, another one just here as well. Um, yeah, that one's out. We got a couple over here. Right, so thank you, Craig, for helping me with the uh, the rehouse. It was a great pleasure. If you haven't already, please go subscribe to Couch Watch Arachnophobia. Um, I will put it down in the description for you guys. So if you could like the video guys, that'd be great. If you could share it as well, that would be even better. If you could hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you'll notified of when I upload next, that would be great. Uh, don't forget guys, I do have a membership now, three different options. So if you want to join that and support the channel, then please do, it helps a lot. Right, so Mr. Grin has done it. So are my creatures. And Couch Locks out too. So we are gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do, we'll probably chill out for a bit. Yeah, it's been a hectic one. All right, thank you guys. Peace, have a good day. See you later.